Welcome to the Pacific Kelp Forest. The Pacific Kelp Forest is a home to hundreds of species of fish, invertebrates, and marine mammals, making it a crucial ecosystem in regards to sustaining biodiversity. To put things into perspective, Dr. David Whitting, a fish biologist for the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Restoration Center, has discovered that the kelp forest houses more biodiversity than a coral reef. Although the kelp forest is a home to many species, the kelp itself also serves an important purpose. Kelp, which can grow hundreds of feet in length, helps to slow ocean currents. By doing so, it reduces the amount of erosion on the shoreline, making the ground more stable. Additionally, the abundance of ocean life that live within the kelp forest are crucial to fisheries, as the kelp forest attracts many of the fish we enjoy for dinner. As it stands, nearly 70% of the microcystis kelp forest along the coast of California has been decimated due to pollution and an abundance of sea urchins. Sea urchins are known as a grazing population, meaning they graze upon the kelp with the ability to rapidly decimate an entire kelp forest if their populations are not controlled. Naturally, the kelp forest relies on sea otters to prey on the sea urchins, maintaining grazing populations which allows the kelp time for regrowth. Unfortunately, in the 1800s to early 1900s, sea otters fell victim to the fur trade and were hunted to a point of near extinction. A species that was once 300,000 strong was hunted to a point where only 1,000 to 2,000 remained. Sea otters, which are currently protected from human hunting, have other hunters to fear, orcas, otherwise known as the killer whale. Due to a decline in the transient orca's primary food source, they have begun resorting to sea otters as a secondary source to eat. So let's put things into perspective using this trophic cascade diagram. The overharvesting of whales is altering the food sources for seals and sea lions. Declining seal and sea lion populations means killer whales are now resorting to hunting sea otters. Declining sea otter numbers and expanding urchin numbers means no more kelp, meaning no more habitat to sustain life underwater. Here's a before and after just to show how crucial kelp forests are. You can see in the before picture there are many fish and an overall abundance of wildlife thriving off the home the kelp has provided to them. However, in the after picture, the kelp forest has been decimated and not a single fish can be seen in sight. All that is left are rocks covered in sea urchins. This trophic imbalance within the kelp forest ecosystem is a major contributor as to why they are slowly ceasing to exist. Human intervention can either aid the kelp forest or contribute to its destruction. Currently, there are a number of organizations striving to find methods of preserving what is left of these underwater sanctuaries. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Restoration Center has been working to control sea urchin populations along the coast of California. Dr. Whitting explains that volunteer divers scavenge areas where kelp forests once stood, single-handedly plucking the sea urchins off the rocks and disposing of them into little yellow bags. This can be a tedious endeavor, however it is proven effective. Within two weeks time, kelp forests begin to regrow and flourish. Slowly, fish and other aquatic species are reintroduced into the forest. With the return of the aquatic species, primarily fish and invertebrates, local fisheries can continue to sustain their livelihood and contribute to their local economy. In regards to increasing otter populations, it is crucial that human interference be kept to a minimum. In 1989, the Exxon Valdez oil spill killed thousands of otters after spilling 11 million gallons of crude oil into Alaska's Prince William Sound, affecting 1,100 miles of coastline. Now, 27 years later, biologists continue to find substantial amounts of oil embedded in the coastline. Sea otter populations have not recovered in this once pristine environment. Although the Exxon Valdez oil spill proves to be permanent and significant damage, human intervention such as sea urchin removal and captive breeding of otters is our chance to improve otter population numbers and ultimately sustain the kelp forests in conjunction with human activity.